Hey YouTube, do you know what happens when you reverse the polarity when TIG welding? Well, I thought I did, but I discovered that until you do it, you don't actually know what's happening. And when it happened to me, quite by accident while I was doing another project, for a minute there I thought my TIG welder was broken. Since I was videoing for the other project anyway, I thought it was worthwhile to make this little outtake into a video of itself so that you can see exactly what to expect when you do reverse the polarity. If I'd seen it in a video before, I would have recognised it straight away. You can't miss it, believe me. Let's have a look at it. We haven't got any argon through the line yet. Ah, it must be through now. What is going on? And being a computer programmer, the go-to solution is to reboot the machine and try again. And obviously, that doesn't work any better with a welder than it does with a computer. What in the world? That tungsten's just burning away, like there's no argon there. No, I really mean burning away, she just... Huh. can definitely hear gas coming through. Got gas, got the flow set maybe even on the high side. Just to see what happens now. What on earth? Something's wrong. And in keeping with my training, you should always tweak a couple of settings and try it several more times just to see if that'll make any difference. Which again, it usually doesn't. I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to have to go and Google that and see what I can find out. Because I suspect something is broken in the big welder, which is going to make me very unhappy. Well, in my defence, I can say that I'm new to TIG welding and I've never experienced what just happened there. All that splatter, melting tungsten, all sorts of crap going on. It took me a little bit to figure it out, I had to go and check everything through. I haven't tested it yet, but I reckon that it was because I had the polarity reversed to what it should be for TIG welding. Not sure how that came about. Obviously I wasn't paying enough attention when I plugged everything in. So now that I've got that sorted out, see if it works properly. It wasn't quite worried there for me, I saw something was breaking. Yes, well it does, but we need more amperage on that because that's such heavy metal. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you're now well aware of what happens when you reverse the polarity on TIG. And if it happens to you, you will know what it is straight away. If you want to see more of my videos, you can go to my channel or browse to my website. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more. Until next time.